If there is one symbol that I have identified myself as an artist with, it has to be a lighthouse. Of all the lighthouses I have painted over the years, perhaps none is more dramatic than the guiding light. Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid, and it is true that lighthouses are a very powerful symbol of life itself. The guiding light is perhaps the most dramatic of the lighthouse paintings that I have worked on up till now. And I think one of the reasons for that drama is the panoramic nature of the painting. Of course, this longer format is very common. In fact, the epic landscape painters of the past, be it Albert Bierstadt, Frederick Church, and especially Thomas Moran, who were really the heroes of American art in the 19th century, pioneered the use of the panoramic format as a way of suggesting the vastness, the almost overwhelming sense of nature. Now, in this composition, I use the long sweep of the horizon to again suggest the vastness of eternity and the relative shortness of our daily life. Again, a reminder to cherish every moment and to take time for the important things in life, our family, our friends, those that we love. That really is the theme of The Guiding Light. Of course, I mentioned the epic size. This painting is 30 inches high in the original and almost 60 inches wide. And that means that if you travel across the painting, you'll see that way on the far right-hand side of the composition is the cozy setting of the lighthouse itself. I deliberately created that sense of imbalance to suggest that in the grouping of the lighthouse and the little lighthouse keeper's cottage, we have the safety and the security of our daily life. That, in contrast with the vast oceanscape that we see surrounding this setting the horizon off in the distance and the waves are crashing in. Very symbolic of our life as we trust in God every day to give us comfort and strength and his protection in the face of all that we face every day. But the painting is about far more than just God's protection. It is also a sweeping reminder of the beauty of nature, the glory of a sunset, I get excited when I see the sun beginning to set and the clouds are getting lit from below. It's as though God's glory is just shining down upon the earth. And of course, if you dim the lights on the composition, you will see that sunset beginning to radiate with a special glow and the warmer tones get more evident as the light grows dim on the canvas. And of course, as the light returns to normal, you begin to see the radiance of a new day dawning. People often ask me, could it also be sunrise or does it have to be sunset? And really, I leave that to your imagination. It is that time when the sun is at its most radiant, low on the horizon. It could be perhaps sunrise or sunset. And if you look closely, you will even see the subtle hint of rainbows surrounding the sunlight as it pours through the cloud. And I tried to create a subtlety to the colors of the rainbow as I added them in. It's always fun to paint the crashing waves. And of course, in the guiding light, I really went to town. I was able to craft a sense of billowy exploding breakers that you see in the center of the composition. And of course, out on the horizon, you see a lot of the waves that are hitting distant rocks. My wife, Nanette, actually came into the studio while I was painting and said that as she looked at that part of the painting, it was as though she was out in the waves and could almost feel the rocking of the waves. Because of the vastness of the composition, I wanted to include some very cozy little touches and you'll see a pathway sneaking its way through the foreground as it makes its way up to the little cottage. I really enjoyed working on the architecture of the cottage itself, creating those little touches of detail that make the cottage seem so unique. I put wild poppies growing on the hillside, lots of other flowers, impatience, including the climbing wild rose that you see on the side of the lighthouse itself. 
In the far right of the composition, behind the lighthouse keeper's cottage, we see a pathway that leads down to the sea. I have that romantic vision of being able to wander through the beautiful trellised bower, perhaps as a way of going to your favorite spot to sit and watch the waves. As I worked on the drama of the sunset, I put a lot of fine detail into the clouds. I wanted the sense that the light was glowing from behind, raking across the clouds as they flew by, and also the sense that there was softness, that there was moisture out in the distance. The horizon was becoming very misty and soft. So you have a nice combination of the drama of detail and the softness on an overall sense. It makes the sky, I think, one of the most effective and inviting sunset skies that I've painted yet. Guiding light is a hopeful vision of life. It is a reminder that even in the midst of storms that we might face, there is a guiding light that can get us through. Really, all my paintings are an attempt to provide a little sense of that guiding light, a sense of a reminder of some of the good things in life. And I hope that guiding light will be that for you as well, that when you look at that light, you'll be reminded that the storms will pass and a new day will dawn. God bless you as you share the light. Thank you.